Oh my god, it is here. Yo, what is up guys? Maddie is back. It is another day in the are we rolling quarantine world, sadly. So a few weeks ago, I ordered a vinyl record of one of my favorite albums of all time, which is Periphery 4. Hail Stan. Periphery is one of my favorite bands. It has been one of my favorite bands since I was like 15 or whenever P2 came out. I always wanted to start a record collection. I only have one record so far, now two. I really wanted to buy this. This is a limited edition or a limited release. I can't wait to open this because I just got it this morning and I'm like, ah! So yeah, I've never done an unboxing before. This should be fun. Also, do you like my shirt? It's so cool. I just got it like last month too in the mail. Obviously. Okay, let's open this. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Holy crap. Okay, so here it is. This is so cool. And then here's the back, which lists all the songs. We're gonna cut the plastic along here. I don't want to ruin the plastic for just preserving reasons. <laughs> Let's see if I do this correctly. <laughs> so here it is with the plastic off. That's so cool. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Flip it over. Best song, just saying. <laughs> and then here's the first one. Of course, side A is all reptile. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the periphery record. Hail Stan. Ah! <laughs> this is so cool. Legit, this has to be probably one of the most awesome things I've ever bought. <laughs> I never really talk about music too much, you know, because I, I film my friend's band and I just did a video on my parents' vinyl record collection. I'm totally trying to start a vinyl record collection now. But yeah, uh, I've been a huge fan of Periphery since I was like 15. When P2 came out, I thought it was like the coolest album on the face of the planet because I was just getting into music at that point. My best friend Mike introduced me to them and I was like, wow, this is awesome this is insane this is so different if you don't know what periphery is periphery is a progressive metal slash gent band if you don't know what gent is look it up you can learn a thing or two about music here is the cd that i bought all those years ago this thing is disgusting why is it so dirty oh i still have like the sticker in it <laughs> i hope to buy like the P2 vinyl soon. I, w I wanna get all the albums, they're really good. So yeah, I thought it was like the coolest band ever. So before my 23rd birthday, I've never been to a real concert before. And what I mean by real is not like your friend's band or a basement show or, you know, I just wanted to go to a real concert in a real venue where you had to pay money and get a ticket and see a reputable band that has a following. That's like my version of going to a real concert. <laughs> For many years, I could not afford nor find friends with the same interest or a band where I'm just like, I want, I really want to go to a concert. So for my 23rd birthday, Mike and Brianna got me tickets to see Periphery. It's kind of embarrassing that I'd never been to like a real concert before then. But yeah, like I said, I didn't have money and I just didn't really know who to go to a concert with if we had like the same interest. I don't know, I'm weird about bands. I still have the ticket right here. It was at the House of Blues in Chicago on September 17th of last year. This is like one of my most prized possessions right now is this concert ticket and I wanted a physical copy. I wanted the whole stereotypical first concert experience ever. I was like so excited uh, for my birthday. They they did this with the present. They drew it in a cardboard box, the periphery logo. I was like, yeah, let's go. So the three of us were going and then Alessandra tagged along and then 
Harrison and Adam tag along as well. So like a whole group of us just like decided to go to the concert and it was the craziest experience ever. Thale Mile was one of the bands that opened for them and like I heard them but never really like listened to them before. It was so fun. We were all standing in the middle of the pit which is like a really bad idea. And I, I leaned over to Alessandra and I was like, you know what, I think that we're standing next to the guy that is going to start the pit. And he's like, yeah, well, I'm just warning you, Bill Mile goes really hard right away, so you better be ready. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not ready. I do not want to be in the pit. So before I could even move, next thing you know, Bill Mile goes on stage and they just go freaking hard in the first five seconds. And just as I said, the guy that was standing literally right next to me just like swung his arm and I literally like flew with like a whole crowd of people to the side because the pit has just started. Dun, dun, dun. That literally scared the crap out of me. I was like, holy sh like this guy literally could have punched me in the face. I swear to God, like this guy's going way too hard. So yeah, I did not want to be in the pit at all, but everybody else in the group wanted to be in the pit, including Brianna. She's way too hardcore. I can't do that, but she she's like, she's going in there hard. Girl power. So I kind of like squiggle my way up to the front and miraculously, I made it to the very front of the crowd next to the the wall, the railing or whatever. I kind of made friends with the guy next to me. And whenever like a crowd surfer came over us, I kind of like ducked underneath him so I could like prevent from getting kicked in the head. And he was like always willingly to like push the guy out of the way. Props to you, bro. You were awesome. But there are a lot of butts and shoes that definitely kicked me in the head. So then Periphery went on and they played obviously a lot of Hail Stan songs. I thought it was like the funnest experience ever. I'm like a hardcore music person. Just being at a concert with a band where like I know all the songs, I know all the lyrics, and my friends are there, even though I wasn't like standing next to them. Well, I mean, like, Mike stood next to me during It's Only Smiles, but, and that was awesome, but <laughs> my friends are there. That's what really mattered, but I don't know, it was definitely like an unforgettable experience. It was probably like one of the greatest presents I've ever received in my life. I love experiences versus physical objects. What was it? At the end of the show, they were tossing out uh, guitar picks. So this one I somehow caught that they threw out into the crowd, which is like standard periphery guitar pick. Then the, the band members were walking down close to the crowd. They were giving out these guitar picks. One of the guitarists, Mark, he gave me this guitar pick. So literally everybody's like reaching out their hands and they're like, I want the guitar pick! Literally Brianna was right behind me. She was screaming, it's our first concert! And then Mark, the guitarist, he looks at me and he's just like, all right, so then he literally walks up to me, puts the guitar pick in my hand and like does this and he shakes my hand and he's like, here you go. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you, I love you. It was so crazy, it was so awesome that not only did I get one guitar pick, but I got another one from one of the band members themselves, which is so cool. I'm like on a freaking roll with the uh, full first blown concert experience. When the concert ended, I went and bought a uh, tour shirt. I think Mike ended up giving me the sticker that he got. So yeah, let me get the tour shirt. So yeah, this was the, the tour shirt. You can find Chicago somewhere on there. <laughs> there we go. Chicago. So yeah, it was so much fun. It's hands down one of like the best experiences of my life. And yeah, I definitely got like the stereotypical like first concert experience. It was utterly perfect. I couldn't imagine a better day. And then right after it ended, we all went to Denny's. <laughs> For real, we did go to Denny's. And I think we stayed out till like two in the morning, which is utterly ridiculous. Periphery was definitely like the best choice for first concert it was honestly a lot of fun especially going with my friends and my best friends <laughs> a few months after that i went to the born of osiris concert and then they gave me a guitar pick for that concert too yeah i don't know what's up with me getting guitar picks from band members that every concert that i go to but it's a lot of freaking fun yeah i just i can't wait to go to more concerts it's something i miss in the outside world of quarantine.
ugh, top five periphery songs. And not in any particular order, because I can't I can't do that in any particular order. It's only Smiles, Loon, Satellites, Ragnarok, Marigold. Yeah, that has to be like my favorite five songs out of periphery. I have like a billion others, but you know, whatever. Those are the ones I probably listen to the most. Oh, I love The Bad Thing. That's a really good song too. So yeah, that's this video for this week. Personally, I think Spencer is my favorite band member of periphery. Not everybody likes him, but I love him. He's awesome. But um, yeah, if you love the video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash all the other buttons you can find, and I will see you Thursday. Have a good day. Okay, I'll see you. Bye.